All right, welcome back everyone. It's Snow High here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Ward, which is a legendary Hyperion Shield. Now the red text of this weapon says, Free me master, see me shiver. Plus 25% weapon damage while shield is depleted. Plus 80% melee damage while shield is depleted. Plus 2% max health per second while shields are active. This effect doubles while shields are depleted. <clears throat> Capacity is 11,465. Recharge delay is 5.7. And a recharge rate of 1,285. Uh, you can get uh, all of the elements resistant on this. I have 13% uh, radiation resistance, but you can't get different ones. I also have a roid ward. You can get different prefixes as well. And as you can see, this is also an anointed version as well. Now, in order to get this weapon, we're going to be killing Grave Ward. And I really didn't see a need to really show you where Grave Ward was. Because, I mean, to be honest, everybody at this point should know where Grave Ward is. Now, this, we uh, this shield is also not a world drop either. You can only get it from Grave Ward. And he's located in the floating tomb. Like I said, I, I should really need to say that because pretty much everybody should know where he's at. But I'm going to go and tell you anyway. You get to a certain part in the story. You get to this mission. You go kill Grave Ward. Then he becomes able to farm. And he's one of the easiest bosses to farm in the game. His crit spots are really big. Really easy to hit. So here's the drop right here. The ward. Same one you see here at the beginning that I'm showing off. And the thing is, with this shield, the first thing we're going to do here when we get to the gameplay, it's kind of hard to show off what this shield does while a lot of people or like a, a lot of ads are shooting you and everything. So I decided to go to the practice range to show you the damage. So 3,076 melee damage, as you can see right there. And now I'm going to, it's kind of hard to do without downing myself, but I'm going to deplete my shield. And I'm going to show you how much melee damage you get after that with the little effect on the shield. It's kind of hard to do without completely downing myself, but there you go. Now I'm going to melee 4,443. So you see we get it up to melee damage. Now I'm going to show you guys the bullet damage increase. So I'm going to shoot with the Unforgiven here. And I, I'm trying not to hit a critical, even though this is a critical hit flat bill, so that's why you see that. 3,700, I think that was 96 damage right there. It's kind of hard to see on my screen. Well, now I'm going to take down my shields again. And then I'm going to hit the shot again. And you're going to see it's going to do 4,059, which is more damage. So basically, whenever this shield is depleted, you're going to be dealing more damage. You're also going to get the uh, plus 2% max health per second while shields are active. But that's going to double whenever your shield is depleted. So a good strategy with this shield would be to like purposely deplete your shield before you start a fight. And then use that to bonus damage to help kill the enemies so, so like I said I'm still showing some gameplay here of the shield against like enemies and I'm trying to show off the little effect of it where I'm like shooting enemies and I'm trying to sh show you the damage calculations but th that's what I did at first but it was kind of hard to tell and I didn't want to I didn't want to do it that way I wanted to show you guys a simpler way to do it so I just went to the practice range to show you guys the gameplay personally uh, the effects on this shield isn't like, I mean, in my this shield isn't too great. I mean, it could be a good shield for like, a, you know, a good roid shield for melee, duh, melee builds or whatever. That's really the main place I see this shield shining is in melee builds. Uh, you know, depleting your shield so that way you get that plus 80% melee damage. And then going in to do your melee attacks. Personally, this shield just isn't for me, but it might be a shield that you feel like using. So if you want to use it, just go out, farm Grave Ward. You can probably get a good anointed version of it as well. So with the little event going on. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.